Adam, the Five Guys. I'm here for a very special reason. Uh, but first, let me tell you about the man who is one of the greatest NFL kickers of all time. He played for my favorite team, the Washington Redskins, and he was a kicker who joined the Redskins in 1974. His name? Mark Mosley. Mark Mosley, the great Mark Mosley, was the only kicker in NFL history to win the MVP award. And he won it in 1982, which was also the same season he won the Super Bowl. That was our first Super Bowl, and it was very special. Uh, uh, the Redskins released him in 1986, and then he retired after that. And then after that, he joined uh, this new uh, burger chain company called uh, Five Guys. And he became Five Guys' vice president for franchising, which he is up until today. So he's the vice president for franchising and he's in charge of deciding where the next uh, branch is going to be. Right now there are five guys all over the world. They started in a little strip mall in Arlington, which I showed you a couple years ago in the video. And now they are all over the world. And five guys is the vice president in charge of that which is why it inspired me to make a Mark Mosley replica helmet, which I have in this bag right now. Here it is at the moment, right now, see that? This is my Mark Mosley replica helmet, here, at Five Guys, where Mark Mosley is the Vice President of. Mark Mosley, as I mentioned earlier, is the only uh, kicker in NFL history win the MVP of the most valuable player. That he is the only one. He was the first and only one. No other kicker or special kicker has ever won the MVP award. This is a replica of the helmet, which I'm here to take photos of. So you can see it has a single bar face mask. Number in the back. It's a beautiful job as you do. Now I'm here to take photos of it. Right now. Take photos of Mark Mosley's helmet right now. Welcome back. I'm at the mall again. I haven't been to the mall in a while. I try not to come here on the weekend. I hate coming to the mall on the weekend. 
But I had a hankering for some uh, spiral spaghetti. And uh, this is the closest. Uh, oh, look, look at, look at all this cool stuff they have over here. They got all kinds of Supreme bags. And look, they got the PS5. Look. I wonder how much the PS5 is. Supreme knapsack, backpack. Yeah, the Subaru is just downstairs uh, from where I am. It's almost directly below me. I'm gonna have to take the uh, stairs or the escalator down. And uh, yeah, maybe do a little shopping while I'm here. I don't know what I need. Oh yeah, I need a birthday present for, for somebody. I don't know, maybe Macy's has something. But after I eat, I'll do that. All right. Welcome to the mall, everyone. I don't usually go to the mall on the weekend. Actually, I hate going to the mall on the weekend. But I had a hankering for some spaghetti. Here at Sparrow. So, if you have a hankering for some spaghetti at Sparrow, you have to go to the Sparrow. You know, it's not like a virtual thing that you can eat spaghetti. Virtually, you know, it doesn't work. You have to actually, you have to actually go. So that's where I am. At the Sparrow, at the mall. As you can see, the mall is pretty busy today. Uh, Post-pandemic. Actually, we're still in a pandemic. We don't, we're not in a lockdown like we, like we used to be. I remember coming here, like a year and a half ago, there'd be nobody here. It's pretty quiet. I kind of like it. Yeah, but now everybody's back in the mall. Everybody's shopping. Christmas shopping is starting. So now it's getting kind of crowded again. But I wanted to get some spaghetti at Sparrow, so I had to come here. Alright, let's have it. Uh, here's a Sparrow at the mall. This is actually the second Sparrow here at the mall. The first Sparrow opened, I think, around 20 years ago. And then it, it was over there on, the, on that side. I think it closed about 10 years ago. And then about uh, four years ago, Sparrow reopened here at this location. There used to be a Chinese cafe down that way, which I used to go to a lot, but they closed, unfortunately. What kind of soup you want to do? I was going to make it too, but we had to go to it. That was some good spaghetti. You can see it's all done. <clears throat> Not as good as some of the other spaghetti that I tasted, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna just uh, I think I'll go to the Macy's after this. All right, welcome to Macy's. <clears throat> oh, here's the uh, purse section. I try to look for maybe like a nice little purse or a bag to give to my loved one. Look at that. How about that, Michael Kors? <clears throat> I don't know what she would like though, I don't know. This is a little too flashy for her, I think. Some of these are good though. I, mean, look. I don't know if she would like that or not. How about a Ralph Lauren? I mean, look at that. It's simple but elegant. So is that, how much is that? $175 for that little purse, that little bag. And uh, we got some more here. Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. This is kind of nice, huh? Look at that number is that. $268. Bucks. Oh, that's because they're real stuff. Did I ever mention I used to work at Macy's? Yeah, I worked at Macy's for like three months about 20 years ago over the uh, Christmas holiday. I just needed the extra money. 
so I applied at Macy's and got to work at Macy's. I didn't like it too much. I discovered I didn't like to work. Uh, I didn't like to work retail. I didn't, have, I didn't want to have to deal with uh, you know customers. But uh, yeah, that was a good experience. You know, I didn't really get paid well, but you know, it was just for a it was just for a Christmas Christmas season. Well, I couldn't find anything down there. Let's try upstairs here at the Macy's. If we can find something up here. I don't think this is, uh, oh, I think this is home furnishing. Well, maybe I can find something here. At the home furnishing department. I think I'll buy this one. This is scented candle from Willow and Sway. Okay. Uh, I'm done with Macy's. Let's go to uh, JC Penny. See if there's something I can buy there. JC Penny is not as uh, expensive as Macy's, but they also got good stuff over there. So let's go check it out. All right, let's head off to JC Penny over here. See what they got. At the JC Penny, doing it right. Well, nothing at the JC Penny either. It's pretty quiet in here too. Not too many people doing any shopping here at the JC Penny. That doesn't bode well. But I'll look around a little more. See if I can find something. All right. Well, I'm at the FYE. Kind of looking for more Back to the Future figures, and I kind of found one here, as you can see. Look. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a Biff Tannen uh, figure, just like that. Uh, what about this other one here? This one is like Tails from... This is a Marty McFly in his hazmat suit, as you can see. It's another hazmat suit. Let's see how much this Biff Tannen is. See? This is Biff Tannen from the 50s. It's him. It'll be good to add to my collection, don't you think? Let's see how much it is. Is there a price on this? 35 bucks. Oh, shoot. I can't do 35 bucks on it. I can get this on eBay for like 25 bucks. Yeah, I'll just leave that there for now. Find, find it somewhere else. Oh, what about this one here? This is another Back to the Future figure. Oh look, it's Back to the Future. Marty McFly is a rock star, look at that. I wonder how much that is. That one's also $35. Alright, let's do it one shepherd said to the other. Let's get the flock out of here. Uh, I parked way over there at the, at the end of the parking lot because I didn't want to park next to anybody as usual even though it's a long walk that's okay so I'm leaving the mall now I'm just going to uh, I'm going to Lowe's because I need to buy some uh, some paint for my helmet and also uh, some blinds for the house because some of the blinds at the house is uh, is damaged and old and I want to replace it and I've been looking for blinds to match it so all I have to do is replace the blinds but so far I haven't found any that match but let me try Lowe's and maybe maybe Lowe's has it all right welcome back to the Lowe's I'm here to look for some paint and also some blinds if I can find it as you can see this is a big place I guess blinds would be located in the uh, home furnishing section. I guess we're close because we're here at the flooring section. Blinds should be close by, but but since we're here at the paint section, might as well get paint first before before the blinds. All right, I found the found the paint that I needed. Now I just need uh, the blinds. I can find the blinds somewhere around here. Uh, I think we're not. I think we're not getting. I think we're getting cool. The blinds might be on the other side. So let's try the other side. Here's 
the thing, another thing I needed. I needed a, I needed an oven backsplash for my oven because it's getting kind of grimy back there, and I needed a backsplash to put that there. But this is white. Well, let me think about getting that backsplash. Forty-five dollars. I have to install it with four screws. That means I have to drill a hole through the wall. Let me think about it. Right now, I'm looking for our blinds. I've been looking around for about thirty minutes. I haven't, I haven't even begun to see it, or I don't even know where it is here. Maybe it has its own section, department, or maybe in some department that I haven't seen yet. Ah, I'll keep looking. Alright, found it. Blinds. Let's put for blinds over here. Where are the blinds? These are the blinds, right? Oh, here we are. We need blinds for doorway. Mm, I where we bought it before. Okay, I bought some blinds here. For uh, to replace some broken blinds that I have at home and some paint here at the Lowe's. Hopefully it'll fit. And now I'm going to the Burlington Coat Factory to see if I can buy a, uh, a toy for my grandson. All right, I guess uh, I just ended up buying like a like a sweatsuit sweatshirt for my grandson. It's a cute little you know Spider-Man sweatsuit. I think you'll like it a lot. I'm gonna send it to him and that should be fine from here at the Burlington Coat Factory. Now I'm going home, I'm tired. Just been to the gun show and uh, I just bought a little bit of ammo and uh, that's about it. I don't know if I'll be coming back but I'm hungry right now and I want to have some lunch. So I think I'll just walk on down to the... Uh, there's an Arby's over here. I haven't been to Arby's in a while. I think I'll have me like a roast beef sandwich at Arby's. Yeah so the Arby's is over here. It's way over on the other side of the uh, of the commercial area here. See the convention center is that way and then the Arby's is way over on the other side. Well, I kind of have to. But I don't want to drive my car because I'll lose my parking spot. So I'm just gonna walk. I just ate at the McDonald's over here just to have lunch. I wanted to eat at the Arby's but they didn't have any uh, in-house dining at the Arby's but they did have it at the McDonald's so I ate at the McDonald's. But now <clears throat> I'm going back to the gun show to go for round two 
to see if there's anything I missed in round one. All right, we're back at the gun show. Checking out the gun show. Look at these, they're pretty nice, huh? Some more over here that are nice. You want this one here? This one's nice. Well, didn't buy much at the gun show. Here's my haul, my little haul. I bought this Oakley, this Oakley backpack for 30 bucks, 35 bucks actually. Not too bad, it's Oakley. And then I just bought some, uh, you know, some ammo, nine mil, you know. Ammo is so much more expensive nowadays. I'm, I was surprised. It didn't used to be this expensive, but it is. And what else did I buy? I bought this backpack and I bought uh, a few other things in there, but mainly it's this backpack and some ammo. And that's it. That's my haul. Just a little haul. Right, I went to the Walmart next door and it's need to buy me some Clorox Kylex to clean my bathroom. Uh, I usually use Kaboom, but they don't have Kaboom. So I'm gonna buy Clorox instead. Clorox is a good brand anyway, so. I don't know what else I need here. I'm actually also looking for wireless wireless headphones. This is pretty nice. Sony wireless headphones for uh, $50. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And they got Skull Candy for $32. Maybe I'll buy that. I don't know what I'll buy. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for a wireless headphones and a wireless Bluetooth MP3 player uh, to replace my my regular MP3 player and my regular headphones that's not wireless so I can find one that's a good price I'll buy one Well, that's it. Went to the gun show and I also went to Walmart to buy some new uh, bathroom cleaner. And then that's it. I'm tired, man. I just want to go home. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the like button if you like it. And uh, if you like it enough to subscribe, then please do subscribe because it really helps the channel to grow. And that's it for this week's vlog. I will see you in the next vlog next week. Bye-bye.